In today's wrestling news in under 5 minutes, Triple H is not a fan of Logan Paul's prime sports drink. Is Brian Kendrick back in WWE? And Mickey James suffers a double tragedy. YouTuber Logan Paul has impressed many with his performances inside the ring for WWE. So far, Paul has stepped into the squared circle to perform at WrestleMania 38, SummerSlam 2022 and most recently at Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia. It appears WWE Chief Content Officer Triple H is seemingly not impressed with a drink created by Paul and fellow YouTuber KSI. The game recently sampled the beverage during a recent Snack Wars episode for Lad Bible. Triple H said, I believe Logan Paul is a big fan of the Prime. I will admit this does taste a little medicinal. It's like drinking cough syrup. After tasting it, Triple H remarked that he sees Paul holding a bottle of Prime more than being seen drinking it. Prime hydration drinks, which are described to fill the void where great taste meets function, were first announced on Instagram by Logan Paul and KSI earlier this year. It's a sports drink that is exclusively sold in the US, the UK and Canada. And the joint venture has seen major sponsorship deals being made with Timmy Hill of NASCAR and Arsenal Football Club of the English Premier League. Former Cruiserweight Champion Brian Kendrick returned to WWE this past Saturday in a backstage role at Survivor Series, where he helped to produce the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship match between Ronda Rousey and Shotzi Blackheart. However, according to Wrestling Observer Radio, the controversial producer has not been hired on a full-time basis by WWE. Kendrick worked as Rousey's trainer in the past when she was getting into professional wrestling, and the former UFC star specifically asked for him to be brought in at Survivor Series to be involved in producing her match. Some would say that it was a tryout, but it wasn't a normal one as this was done because Rousey specifically requested it. The news that Kendrick was involved in the show is something that caught many fans by surprise as he had been released by WWE at the start of the year. The veteran wrestler was announced to debut for AEW in an in-ring capacity this past spring, but Tony Khan ended up pulling that after clips of a 2013 High Sports interview that he conducted ended up resurfacing on social media. The interview saw Kendrick make controversial comments about a range of conspiracy theories, which included the Illuminati, lizard people, the skull and bones, anti-Semitic theories, and questioning the number of people that died in the Holocaust, as well as suggesting that the Sandy Hook elementary shooting was a hoax which is also something that Rousey has brought up in the past. It's worth noting that WWE nor Kendrick has commented on his recent return backstage, and it does remain to be seen whether he is used again in any capacity moving forward. Sadly, this past weekend, Mickey James lost two family members in a tragic accident. The Impact Knockout went on Twitter this past Monday to talk about what happened and express gratitude towards her fans. Mickey tweeted, Thank you everyone for the love and the messages. It's warmed my heart. Please continue to pray for Wayne's wife, Christy Knuckles. She is still in serious condition in the hospital. She lost both her husband, my brother, and her 16-year-old daughter in the accident. I can't imagine. Also, for the parents of her daughter's best friend who was only 15. They had just picked her up and were taking the girls to school. My heart is broken for them as I don't know what I will do. Think or even feel. I'm sending so much strength, healing and love. James would also have a message to her fans regarding the other driver involved in the incident, with James asking for support to be given his way as well. She said lastly, please lift up the driver of the other vehicle who hit them. Thankfully he is okay, but mentally and emotionally I'm sure he is devastated. I hope he knows and forgives himself. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing you could do. It was an accident, a tragic accident. Turnbuckle Times sends its condolences to Mickey James, her family and the family of the other victims at this difficult time. If you enjoy receiving your wrestling news in less than five minutes, please give this video a like and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I've been Tesh from Turnbuckle Times. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.